Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life vlog. It is Tuesday because yesterday was 4th of July and I was just chilling. I was swimming like a mermaid. I was eating all things in sight. Literally, I felt so stuffed after yesterday. But we did make it to the fireworks show and it was honestly so cool. It was the first time we went to Auditorium Shores here in Austin. Last year, we just went out to like our rooftop at our apartment complex and watched the fireworks there, which were also really cool because you saw like so many like fireworks across the city. But this time is super special because it was like literally right in front of our faces it was insane it is time to get my life together i feel like i say that in every freaking vlog and i need to like chill out and like actually get my life together but here's another attempt i guess this is just reality of like maybe it will never be together okay maybe i won't say that because i need it to be together it's just like not a good feeling of having your life just feel so scatterbrained all the time so i really want to find like my schedule for every week, especially because I am self-employed. I have been struggling with just getting my butt up to just like do stuff and my energy has been really low and my energy has just been really low too. And so I just need to figure things out. But before that, since my energy is low right now, I'm going to make myself a chai. Literally just two ingredients. I finally got not the skinny one because the skinny one just did not have enough sugar in it. Well, actually, I haven't really tried this one, but I'm pretty sure this is just like regular. So let's try it. Got my cute little bubble glass. This one's from Amazon. It's in my Amazon storefront. I have like a whole folder with like unique glassware because I feel like funky glassware just like makes beverages like this just so much more fun. I'm not really sure how much I should pour. So I guess this will just be a learning lesson. Let's start off with that. And then my oat milk. I really do love the H-E-B brand one. Something about it is really good. Yum. I feel like it may need more milk. Let's try. That is so yummy. Just like a coffee shop would pour it, not even make it, because I feel like coffee shops just literally have these two ingredients. My last week in my life, I went to a coffee shop, and I already explained this in the last vlog, but I just thought it was so funny. I get up to the cash register, I ask for a chai. Literally two seconds later, right in front of the cashier, they just like pour my chai and my oat milk, and they're like, here. I'm like, why did I just pay for that? So that definitely inspired me to make my own chai at home, because like, it's not hard. Like matcha, like, that you could kind of mess up because you know there's more like steps but this is literally just pouring two things together all right i'm gonna take my chai over to the couch and get my life together let's do it so i actually did this a while ago but now that i don't have a video editor anymore I haven't had one for actually a while and that's why maybe I am like struggling to post on YouTube. But anyways, I thought I would create a new schedule for me. So I just did it in Google Docs. I do use Notion, um, but I think sometimes it's just easier to just like brain dump in Google Docs and then transfer over just because I'm so familiar with like how to format it in Google Docs. So I have Monday through Sunday on this side, Monday through Sunday on this side. This is just YouTube and then this is like everything else that I want to do on a daily basis. So on Monday on the YouTube side, you can see like film Thursday's video, edit Tuesday's video, Tuesday's post Tuesday's YouTube video, and then edit Thursday's video. And I'm kind of trying to give myself more than a day to edit a video in case I have something going on on that day and I can't edit the video or if I just like want to space it out a little bit more because sometimes I just really rush myself and I don't want to do that anymore. Like I want to work on it like a project and not just like in one day. And then I'm going to try to edit my week in my life like every day pretty much so I don't have to do it all in one day because week in my life are so long to edit because they're like two hours of footage. And then on the non-YouTube side, for Monday I have film eight TikToks and I put that on the day that I'm already gonna have my makeup done to film Thursday's video. And then on Tuesday, or on Monday, yeah. I will also check my emails and answer emails on this day because, you know, start of the week, gotta get things going. And then on Tuesday, I'm gonna batch some like to know it posts 
I'm gonna do two per day, so 14 total through the week. Anna, my assistant, got a full-time job, so I'm super excited for her. So I'm not sure like how much she'll be able to work with me, but I just thought maybe if she can't do a ton, maybe I can help out that day. And then I want to update my Amazon storefront this day, just like post Amazon shoppable photos. So that's like the photos at the top of my storefront that I can post and tag like what I'm wearing in the photo, kind of just like like to know it, but on the storefront. Then on Wednesday, I have answer emails again, because I want to do it like at least three times a week. Um, I feel like that sounds so stupid to say, but I feel like I'm really bad at answering emails. Like I'm always like looking at them, but sitting down to answer them, I need to actually designate a certain time to do that. Then on Wednesday, I'm gonna post my like to know it post. That's like the Amazon storefront one on my Instagram stories. I don't know if this is like making much sense to you guys, but basically I want to have one shoppable little collage every week that goes out on Wednesday that is like my picks, my aesthetic, maybe styled by me, maybe it could be like home decor, kitchen gadgets, like literally anything from Amazon, but it'll just be like new to my storefront. So I'm gonna post that on Wednesday to my Instagram stories. So follow me on Instagram if you guys love Amazon because I do. <laughs> and then I'm gonna create my YouTube outlines and just like check on my content calendar and move stuff around if I need to or just like make sure I got like B-roll that I need to. Then on Thursday, I'm gonna film eight TikToks. I probably have like more stuff to do um, than that, but you know, I'm just kind of like wanting to leave a little bit of space the last two days of the week, Thursday and Friday, just because I feel like I do more stuff out and about. I don't wanna make myself like say no to stuff. So I kind of just left those a little bit free, but I also still have to like film Tuesday's video on Thursday and post Thursday's video. So that means like coming up with the thumbnail and all the titles, description boxes and everything like that. Then Friday, I just have answer emails because I'll be making sure my week in my life is ready to go and i'll also be editing tuesday's video so i feel like that was a lot but this is kind of what it looks like i don't know if you guys can see it but maybe you can like screenshot and zoom in if you guys are curious so i'll definitely be adding some stuff but i feel like this is a really good start and i'm kind of sad that it, like it's tuesday already because i feel like i'm already thrown off by this but i'm gonna try to maybe definitely start it next week like fully so on friday if you guys saw in my week in my life uh video I went to like a little disco birthday party for my friend Kiana and we went to this place called Outer Heaven. It was like a really cool like disco themed bar. I took an unfortunate fall and like literally like hurt my knees. Both of my knees are really scabbed up and my nail is like literally rubbed off or like filed off because of the cement and like chipped a nail right here. Anyways, the worst part about it is I thought this whole time that like my screen protector cracked, but it's my actual fucking phone. And I'm so mad because I was using a screen protector and a freaking case. And this is a case to -fi case. So I wonder if there's like a policy if, you know, the phone breaks and I was wearing a case to -fi case. I don't know how you could prove it, but I literally never take this thing off. And I had a screen protector on. <sighs> Anyways. So I'm gonna go to the Apple store at Barton Creek and get my phone fixed. I just know myself and I feel like I would push this thing off. I just wanna get it done so I can put my screen protector back on it. Cause I feel like putting a screen protector on a cracked phone like just isn't gonna work. So I'm gonna go do that. And I was just thinking I probably won't have a phone. So I'll probably just bring my iPad just in case I need to contact anyone and I can just like go on the Wi-Fi at the mall. But I also want to check out Airy because I don't really ever go shopping at Barton Creek. They have an Airy there and I really, really like their swimsuits, their sweats. Like honestly, Airy has like a lot of good clothes and like it's not too expensive. And then I also want to go to Sephora because I just feel like it's really fun to walk around and definitely a good time waster, but an expensive time waster. So I don't know if I'll actually be getting anything, but those are the two stores that I want to go to while my phone's getting fixed. So my appointment's at 410. I also have some returns to make, so I'll probably do that after, um, but I'm gonna go get those ready and then we'll head out the door. Back home, I just cleaned up, tidied it up a little bit, um, but I unfortunately, apparently did not have Apple Care. I swear to God, I pay for Apple Care, but I think, I guess maybe I just paid for it on my computer and my 
iPad, but I got this phone in January and I, I like would have sworn I would have paid for Apple Care because I know myself and I do this shit all the time. I was going in there so confidently, you know, thought I had Apple Care, I was just gonna do a quick fix, but guess not. So I had to pay a good chunk of change to get it fixed. And like, honestly, it didn't really need to be fixed, but I know myself, like I'm on my phone all the time for work. So it would have like pissed me off also. Cause like I always have a screen protector on. And my dumb ass went shopping because I was bored and didn't really have anything to do. And I didn't have a phone. So I went shopping at Sephora and Morphe. Morphe was actually having a sale. So I'll do a little haul for you guys. I cannot find the Morphe bag. I think it's still in my car. But I got two lip liners. I got the Jaclyn Hill Neutrals palette. It was like kind of like a travel size. I've never even heard of that before. And I didn't know Jaclyn Cosmetics was in Morphe. So that's good to know in case she comes out with anything good. Um, and then what else did I get? Oh, I got like an eyeshadow brush. So that's all I got from Morphe, but I got a lot from Sephora, unfortunately because Sephora's not cheap. I got those four things at Morphe for like 30 something dollars because the sale was like insanely good. Literally the lip liners were $2 each. And I think they're usually six or eight. So I was like, I'm literally gonna get two of the same color because I'll just keep one here or like one in my purse or one in my car or whatever. So for Sephora, let's start with these. I actually got two different like tinted moisturizers because I've been hearing a lot about the Rare Beauty one. So I want to try this out, but then I swatched this one from Rose Ink and I haven't heard like too, too much about this brand, but the things that I've seen are like really beautiful and just dewy and very natural. And I've been really liking just like less cakey makeup. I do love like a full coverage face, but I've been really, really liking the dewy, like fresh look. And this was insane. Like the way it, it like swatched on my arm because it's more of like an oil, is it an oil? I don't know. It, it says a hydrating serum foundation that delivers light coverage while helping to refresh skin after exposure to pollution. And I have to do a tutorial with this because it like looks so weird. It looks like oil and foundation is mixed together and it's like not mixed. Like it's like beads of foundation. But then when you blend it out, it like really blends out nicely. And like the coverage was like pretty dang good. So I was like, okay, I, I can't choose. So I'm very excited to try those out. And I also needed a new concealer because mine's running a little bit low. Um, and the girl recommended the NARS Creamy Radiant, Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, and you know, it's been years that I've heard so many good things about this one. So I'm finally trying it out. I really like NARS's foundations too. Okay, next up I got another Rose Ink product. I got a blush, a cream blush. I'm so excited about it, but I also wanted to, oh no. Wait, what? Shoot. <laughs> I left with both blushes. Shoot, how the frick did that happen? Uh-oh. Okay, well, I guess I got two blushes in two different colors because I was like literally swatching them like five times. I would like go wipe it off, go around the store. I was like, I don't need it. But then I was like going back to it every time because I was like, but I kind of do want it. So maybe that's what had happened. I guess I thought I didn't put one in my bag, but I did. And then I got another blush because I wanted a powder one. This one's from Pat McGrath. And I'll show you guys the color. I kind of want to do a makeup tutorial using all these products in this video, or maybe I can do like a full like chit chat, kind of get ready with me. That could be fun. I feel like I haven't really done a makeup video in a while. That's maybe what I'll do. Okay, so this is the Pat McGrath blush and it's pretty pigmented. So that is it. That's all I got from Sephora. I'm currently air frying some salmon. I just did the dishes, the dishwasher's going. And I told Ryan I wanted to swim today because yesterday was 4th of July and we were at our pool with all our friends and it was just not enough swimming time for me. I was like, I want more. And I also didn't wash my hair yesterday because we were going to watch the fireworks and I was like, I'm gonna get sweaty anyway. So I just don't wanna like go through that. So I think I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. We'll see if that actually happens because I'm not really sure what time he's coming home. He's at golf like usual. <laughs> I actually just opened up an Amazon package and I wanna show you guys what it is. So I got like true ceremonial grade matcha. Pretty sure someone recommended this one to me. This is the brand right here. And 
I guess I've been using culinary matcha this whole time. So that's like for baking or like smoothies, but not really like a matcha latte because it's bitter if you use like cul culinary, yeah. But ceremonial is just like a higher quality matcha. Okay, so I got like a little mixing bowl. How stunning is this? And it has like a little spout to like pour the matcha and you whisk it and I got a whisk finally. I feel like I've been drinking matcha for quite a long time, but I never have really invested in all the tools. So it comes with a little spoon and then the whisk. Perfect. It's the perfect size bowl. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go back to my computer, do some more work, because I feel like I was on a roll, but I had to leave for that appointment. Okay, so we were the only ones at the pool, which was perfect because I was able to swim like a mermaid that I am. And I just made some salmon in the air fryer and just cooked up a bunch of vegetables. This is dinner tonight. Good morning, it is Wednesday. I just got in my car because I'm about to head to a shoot. It starts at 10 a.m., but it's kind of a long drive. So it's currently 9.13 and I have to get going soon. But I wanted to talk about this new workout that I literally started doing yesterday. It's Sammy Clark's form app. I've been following Sammy Clark for a really long time, like at least maybe like through quarantine. And she is a fitness health guru and she's stunning and everything is just so aesthetically pleasing. And I don't know what took me so long. Like why did I just get the app and just start doing her workouts? I mean, the app is like fairly new, I believe, but I'm just like, damn, I've been sleeping on this for so long. I'm starting off by doing the 14 day reset and I saw that and I was like, okay, I'm definitely gonna purchase the subscription. I was gonna just do like the free trial, but it's a 14 day reset and I did two days so far. Um, yesterday was a full body workout. Today was a lower body inner thighs workout. And the best thing about this app is that they have a weekly schedule. Um, Let's see if I can turn down the light on this thing. Okay, so here is the weekly schedule and it like already gives you workouts to do in the week. So you don't have to like spend time scrolling and choosing which workout you're gonna do because I never know like what to pair with what throughout the week. Like I know like you're supposed to switch it up and do legs and then arms and then abs but I don't know like in what order or anything like that. So I really like that they kind of have it like all laid out and you don't even have to really think twice. You just have to like do it, which obviously that's easier said than done because the number one thing you have to have is motivation to like even get up and go work out. Um, and that is where I have been struggling lately because I know I don't feel like amazing about myself right now and I really don't feel like my body is in the place that I want it to be. Like to be completely honest. It sucks too because it's like the summer, I'm swimming a lot, I'm in a swimsuit, I'm in tighter clothes, I can't just hide under a hoodie. And you would think all of those little like mental things would make me want to work out, but for some reason, I just like still wanna be lazy. I do not get it. And I know I feel so much better when I do work out. Like literally I was telling Ryan just now, I feel like so good about myself that I worked out cause I feel like tight and toned. Like even just after one day of working out, like the soreness you feel is like a good soreness. And I hate to beat myself up about it because I feel like I tend to do that a lot, but I know I feel good when I am doing this, you know? So I just need to like actually work it into my schedule, which I'm trying to wake up earlier and earlier every day. I was gonna try to wake up at seven, but I ended up waking at like 7.30, which is still pretty early, but I feel like I've been sleeping in like a lot lately, like 8.39 and I'm just like, okay, I need to be getting up and getting it over with because at the end of the day, I'm not like a night workout person. Person just came into the garage, so I'm just changing up my angles here. But basically, I just don't know why I go in these phases like I know it's normal and like I go through seasons like grad season where I don't really have that much time to work out because I'm shooting in the morning and the night and then like in the middle of the day I have to like do content and have makeup on so like there's not much time for all that but like now I don't have any excuses and I think like my biggest thing right now is that I just keep making excuses for like everything like Last night I could have posted a vlog, but we went swimming and we ate dinner and I went to the mall, which I had to kind of get my phone fixed. But anyways, 
moral of the story is that I need to like stop my excuses and do what actually feels good for me because I know what feels good for me. So why don't I do it more often? Anyways, okay, I'm gonna go do my shoot and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm about to get my nails done at a door nail lounge and I don't know what I should do. I kind of want to just get this base color. I took a picture of it last time, but I just want like some neutral nails and I think I'm gonna get the gel X taken off because I think my real nails are long again. So then I can definitely save some money there. Then I also need to get a pedicure. We're gonna go head out the door. I always bring my headphones with me because I just like to watch like TikToks or YouTube videos or just like do a little bit of work. I definitely need to do the emails, but these are my Bose 700s. I love them. I used to have a different color, but unfortunately I lost them. I'm not really sure even where that happened or when that happened, but I had a trip and I like literally could not find them for the life of me. So I think I lost them. I don't know. Anyways, I could not live without them. So I rebought them and just got them in this silver color. Good headphones, like good noise canceling headphones are so worth the money. I would love to be an AirPods Pro girl, but like they don't fit in my ear. For some reason, they literally fall out the minute I like try to stick them in my ear. And I know there's like different sizes you can get, but I don't like those like jelly things that just plop in your ear. I feel like my ear is like deformed low key because none of that shit ever works in my ears. Got home from getting my nails done and I'm like actually so mad. I was sitting there for an hour, like so furious. Like I know it's definitely not the biggest problem in the world but i was like literally on the verge of tears because i was like i grew my nails out so i could have my real nails to like you know paint save some money and then he fucking files them down so fucking short well at first i asked him if i could do the almond shape with my real nails and he was like yeah he starts like going ham and filing my nails and i don't like love to micromanage so i don't really like like to like stare and look maybe i should have maybe this is like a lesson learned but like he filed them down, like they were pretty long, like on its own. So I don't know why he just didn't like lightly file the edges, you know, to give them the almond shape that they already were, but he filed them down so far. And you know, like almond shapes, if they're so short, they look like dinosaur fingers. That's what it looked like. And I was like, um, like, yeah, I guess, can you just like do it like square? Like in my mind, I was like, why the fuck did you file them down like that? Like I was shook, I was mad so mad about that in my like internally because i'm very bad at confrontation and like even just to say like can you switch it up like took a lot for me and then i just felt like he was rushing me out of there and usually that place is so good i go to a door nail lounge and i got a guy this time i could literally tell when somebody is rushing me out of the chair that's one of the worst feelings this is what they look like you guys can say I'm being dramatic, but like literally part of me wanted to just be like, yeah, I guess just don't paint them. I'm gonna go home and like put on press-ons because I would have been way happier with like long nail press-ons um, because they're already cut down short. So I might as well just like put press-ons on because you have to like cut them down to put press-ons on. But let me just calm down. I'm gonna cook some dinner, maybe like light a candle, play some music. I need to chill. They're really not that bad. I get it. But like when you literally have a vision in your mind, like you're going for, and like you like tell someone like, okay, I want them all almond shape, like want them long. I grew my nails out. You know, I, I hope somebody understands me. <laughs>
Thursday and I woke up pretty early today. I'm like actually really proud of myself because I'm trying to wake up earlier and earlier every day and just trying to get into that habit again. So I think I woke up at like seven ish and then I have literally been working since then. It's 12 right now and <laughs> this is like the most productive I've been in like honestly a very freaking long time, especially just like computer wise. Um, and I feel so good about it. And thanks to this freaking treadmill thing I got on Amazon, I will link it in the description box below, but it's like an under the desk treadmill. And for the most part, it is pretty compact. It is like a lot larger than I expected it would be. And Ryan's closet is in here, so I can't really like put it in his closet. So for now, it's just like being hid under the desk if I want to use my chair. Um, but I have been just mindlessly walking this morning and I think I walked like six miles. Like I'm not even joking. Let's see. Today in my fitness app, cause I'm also wearing my Apple watch. Oh, I'm wearing my Apple watch on my leg. If you can see that because apparently it's just more accurate with like the steps you take. So it's 12 PM right now. It says that I walked 12,000. 956 steps and it says that I've walked 5.7 miles that is insane that is insane and honestly I kind of have a lot of filming to do because I have to refilm a sponsored TikTok for the third time and I was not planning to do that but they just came back with the edits so I have to get that done I wanted to film like a makeup routine even though my skin's kind of like being weird so I don't know if I want to like do that another day just like really irritated now but I was gonna do my form workout the 14 day reset thing that I talked about yesterday but since I just did all that on this trend I'm like mm, I kind of just want to get on with my day like I want to shower and I want to you know get ready and like start filming because it's already noon so I think that's what I'm gonna do and if I feel a random burst of energy at night maybe I'll like push it till then um, but this whole time I've been doing emails, um, I've been editing my week in my life vlog. I pretty much got it done. I'm exporting it right now. I'm so hyped about it. And, um, yeah, I don't know. This thing is like magic. It makes me actually work. This is going to solve all my problems if I can just get myself to like actually be at my desk. Cause the issue is like, I want to work from the couch and then I just get sleepy and tired and like really not productive. I highly recommend getting one of these, especially if you work from home and you just feel like you're sitting all day. My mom always tells me to like get up and just like do 10 squats like whenever I have the chance. I'm like, okay mommy, I'm literally not going to do that, but like thanks for telling me. So she'll be very proud to see this because I know she watches my vlogs. This morning I saw that there were like literally two more in stock for the white ones and there's four more of the pink ones right now. And so I'm just gonna link a whole bunch of similar under the desk treadmills in case it's like out of stock by the time that this video goes up. I feel like they're all really similar. Just like check the dimensions and then check the reviews and see what they say. But I feel like this one had pretty good reviews. I didn't end up filming the make it true because I just felt like my skin is just not doing so hot today. I just went down to my package lockers and I got something for my shelves. It's been going a little bit slow just because I want it to be perfect and I don't really even know where to start. Like I know I need like vases and bowls and books, but I'm like, how do you pick? There's so much to pick from. So I'm just taking my time, but it kind of sucks because that's like in the background of all my videos. So that's why I literally went down to go get it because I um, want to film some TikTok content. Hopefully this fits. It's definitely lighter than I expected, but I really like it. And then I also got a little iPhone mount for my camera because I really want to start making like more Instagram reels. So basically this part can like hook onto the top of your camera. It's like called a horseshoe mount or yeah, a horseshoe mount, right? So that hooks up onto the camera and this comes out and then you can like actually put your phone in and lock it. And so you can basically be taking the same video that you're taking photos on your camera with. So I thought that would be cool to just like bring on some shoots. I'm probably just gonna pack it in my bag. Sometimes I feel like I'm really rushed because either the client's late or just like we're working with like random bad weather conditions and just like trying to get it done. 
but other times I just feel like we're going a lot slower or you know obviously people get like different packages so maybe I'm not as rushed so during those shoots I would love to film some content and I've been wanting to do that for so long okay let's go see if this thing fits on my shelf and okay perfect it fits what do we think do we like it do we like the color or should I stick to just like whites and creams no I think I like it because I don't want much like wood things because there's like wooden bowls and everything I'm sorry my face is like not in this <laughs> but yeah I've seen like a lot of like wooden bowls and other things like that but I feel like it would be just too much wood so this is where I'm struggling like I'm honestly the farthest thing from an interior designer even though I think of myself as a creative I'm not this type of creative unfortunately I'm looking at it now and it just reminds me of like Stonehenge and I'm not I'm not loving it like I like the shape and I like the concept of it but I think I might just go buy some like cream spray paint or white should I do white or cream because those books are kind of cream and then the candles cream oh god I need so much help with this but I, I, I like already decided I think I'm gonna spray paint it. I got the viral TikTok Amazon linen pants. I got a size large because I guess they're men's pants, which is kind of odd, but they fit perfectly and they look like really cool. Like they make me look very cool girl. I also, of course, am wearing like my favorite Amazon tube top of the summer. This is like more of a beige color. I'm not really sure if you like the coloring's picking out very well on the camera, but this is more of like a beige and this is like stark white. But I feel like linen for the summer is such a vibe. I'm filming like a little Amazon TikTok thing. So hopefully I'll remember this time to show you guys the rest. Next we have this tank top and it has like this ribbed texture. And I'll definitely have to wear a bra with this because the girls are looking a little funky right now. The material is like not super thick, I guess. Like I thought it was going to be more of like the Aritzia like tight kind of ribbed tank. But it's not really like that. It's definitely like breathable though. And obviously if I wear a bra, it's going to look a like hundred times better. Guys, he stole my free people shirt. It's all bacon colored, so you know it's hers. Yeah, exactly. So it should be mine. It's not supposed to be on you. It's cropped. It oh, looks kind of funky. Ryan, hmm? why? where did you even find that? Free people. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next thing I got. It's a swimsuit. The listing said it had tummy control, so I was immediately sold, and it comes in so many different colors. And it's going to be linked on the swim section on my Amazon storefront. I'm pretty sure I already talked about this one in my vlogs. But in case you guys didn't see that one, this is my new favorite white button down shirt. And it's from Amazon. It is one size, so just a heads up about that. I was this close to being lazy tonight, but I was like, I am going to go get this workout done. I literally just looked at it and it's just arms. And I actually really like, like lifting weights and doing arms. Legs aren't my favorite. Cardio is not my favorite. I do like arms though, so this is good because it's a lazy day. Um, I'm hoping no one's in there because I'm toying with the idea of watching it on my iPad because I have like the keyboard stand thing. That's just easier because I feel like my iPhone, I, I never know where to prop it up and like watch. And I don't know like the forms I'm supposed to be doing, so I like have to watch, you know? So I think I might just bring both. And if other people are there and I get too embarrassed, I might not use the iPad, but got my Apple watch on, headphones on. I literally am just re-wearing the same thing I wore to yesterday's workout because I guess I didn't um, get that sweaty. So let's do it. is quite literally covered in pimple patches because my skin's like irritated in like a weird way that there's like not pimples but just like really random bumps and I feel like these help so I'm just gonna sleep in them and see if I wake up without these bumps on my face. Brian got my package from downstairs that I didn't even know I had and it has some foreign languages on it so <laughs> 
I don't know what this could be because I actually ordered um, a purse like a while ago, like a Bottega Veneta dupe on like Pop Bay. I've never heard of it. I don't even know where I saw it. Maybe an Instagram ad. But I also recently purchased some stuff off DHgate, which I really don't think it's that because like that was like last week. And I don't think it ships that fast because it's like international. So yeah, I did get some knockoffs or dupes or whatever. And I'll definitely share them with you guys because... Oh yeah, it's my pop bay bag. Okay, yay. I can use this this weekend. But yeah, when I was in Italy, you guys know if you watch those vlogs, I was really looking to get a designer bag because they say it's cheaper to get it in Italy or just like Europe in general. But I don't know, I just like really wasn't ready. I wasn't like wanting something super bad, especially like I didn't even know what designer to go to. I didn't know what I loved, which I found out I really like Celine and YSL. I think those are like my top brands for like styles of bag that I really like. Um, and then also Bottega Veneta, but I feel like those are so trendy that it would be very hard for me to just like spend that kind of money for a bag that I know would like go out of the trend very fast. So that is why I got the dupe of the Bottega Veneta. Okay, I'm nervous. No, wait, what? I did not buy sunglasses. <laughs> But maybe it's for free Zoles. What'd you say? Those are mine. <laughs> okay. Wow, this packaging is like really nice. I've never heard of Pop Bay. Like I I want to like backtrack and see where I even found it. What? This is the bag. This is the bag. No, not DHA. I when you said DHA, I was like, wait, I literally ordered last week. Maybe not even last week, like a couple another purse that I got. Okay, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the noodle bag. I don't even know like what the real noodle bag like feels like in person, but this is what it looks like. It feels like a lot less structured than I thought. Like it's like, I don't know. I thought it wouldn't move for some reason. So I'm actually really curious to see like what they would like feel like right next to each other. I am obsessed with this. And then like literally after I purchased this, which was like kind of a while ago, maybe, maybe under four weeks, I don't know. But I saw a dupe on Amazon for it, but I don't think it was in the beige color. I think it might've been in a green color, but I'll link that Amazon dupe below. And I'll also link the one I got. Um, okay, let's open it up. Very interested to see. First impression, it's kind of just like you have to like dig your hand in the noodles. That's kind of, it's kind of weird, but. If anyone has this Bottega bag, let me know what you think. Cause I would not be able to tell if someone had like a fake purse or the real one, because obviously I, hmm. Well, I guess I have like a Marc Jacobs snapshot bag. That's real. Other than that, I think I've gotten like a Michael Kors bag and like coach bags in my lifetime, but I've never really had like a real designer bag. And you guys will know when that happens because I will make a scene. Because <laughs> that's such a like cool thing to, you know, treat yourself with. Although like my issue is I don't treat bags very nicely. And so I don't think I'm like ready. I don't think I deserve a nice bag because I'm, I'm not very nice to my bags. Okay, anyways. So let's see. I don't think a lot will fit in here, to be honest. This is the noodle bag and I'm so excited to style this. I'm gonna look like I have a real Bottega Veneta. If this does look like the real one. I'm gonna, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go compare them on Google. Okay, I will say that there's like some baconing, as Ryan says, do you see that? On the noodles, a little overcooked, but other than that, I think it's just like a really cool statement piece. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is not. <laughs> oh, he's saying it's not a purse, it's a clutch. Ryan knows, Ryan knows. Okay, well, I'm just gonna hold it like this and just not even try to put it over my shoulder because that was... That was traumatizing. Okay, good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Friday. I'm about to film a makeup tutorial. I've been slugging. I worked out this morning, showered, 
and my skin's feeling a little bit better. I just have like one pimple patch on it. I can't decide if I want it to be like a chatty get ready with me or just like straight to the point like trying on makeup. I feel like maybe I should do that because I feel like my vlogs are really long so maybe it's nice to have like short videos here and there. Um, but you guys let me know if I need to do like more chatty stuff. So I feel like I'm chatty on my vlogs. So I don't know. Anyways, let's do a makeup transition and just fix this whole situation. Okay, here's the hair and makeup. I just touched up the hair and went for like a really dewy look, but I kind of went in with the powder afterwards because I was cleaning around the house and got so sweaty after I got ready. I was like, maybe this was not a good idea to do this like after I got ready, but I cleaned the bathrooms. I did the sheets and bedding. One of Ryan's best friends from high school, they like played football together, wrestling and everything like that. Um, and my friend as well, Cam from our hometown is coming to visit. His girlfriend actually lives in Houston. He used to live in Houston for like an internship, um, but he's just coming down for the weekend. So we're really pumped and we're going to the lake this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog like all of that just because I feel like I'll be in the water and stuff like that. <laughs> just like laying in the sun and relaxing. But tonight we're going to ATX Cocina and we've only been there once, but we loved it. The margs were so good. So I'm really, really hoping that wasn't just like a one-time thing. Like I hope it's actually consistently good. But I'm currently doing a TikTok for um, Petal and Pup. They gifted me some clothes. It was actually supposed to be for my Mexico trip, but the clothes didn't come in time. It literally came the day that I left and I was like, amazing. But I still promised them I would do a TikTok for them. So doing it now. I'll show you guys this dress that I'm currently wearing. It's a lot right here, but I love it. Like I just think it's so flattering and flowy and it's so funny on my shelves I keep moving around the things because depending on what angle it needs to be in like for my makeup video is perfect like right on this side but now I'm shooting from this angle so I put it on that side to make it look a little bit more full here's another piece from Petal and Pup I don't know like exactly how to style this I feel like if I belted it it would look cool but I don't really have a good belt yet that is actually one of the things I bought off of DH gate is like a YSL cream belt which I don't even know if cream would look good with this but I paired it with heels to dress it up and added like a necklace um but I think it's cute and just like flowy and fun especially for like a beach vacation that's what the TikTok was about so I've been trying to think of kind of like series that I can do every single week in my vlogs like trying out TikTok recipes which actually that pasta I don't even think I like talked about it because I was so mad about my nails and I just like needed to get cooking but that was actually a TikTok recipe I will link it down below and I feel like that is definitely one of the series I want to start is just like trying TikTok recipes or just like trying recipes that I've been wanting to try for so long and hopefully that'll include more Indian cooking your girl needs to learn that ASAP but for now I feel like I have so many summer recipes saved on my TikTok collections so I definitely want to go through those and then another thing I thought of is I could do like Friday favorites or just like weekly favorites in my vlog so I wanted to share a couple of those really quick first off being this blanket right here it is huge and so soft and actually people were asking me on my tiktok because i posted about it does it shed no i don't think so like it doesn't seem like a material that would shed the only thing is that it is like on the thinner side but it is huge and it's so comfy like this is the perfect blanket to go oh, wait i want to take it off <laughs> this is the perfect blanket to cozy up with because let me just show you how freaking large it is i swear it could like be the size of a whole bed like what that is humongous so this blanket is on amazon and they have a bunch of other colors pretty sure i saw like pink and red but you guys know i just had to get the green i feel like the camera doesn't pick up the color very well but it's also not really a super saturated green which i like it's very like sage and kind of just more muted and toned down. So I've been loving the way it looks on this white couch behind me. Just kind of adds something in the background of my videos. Next up has been a favorite for probably like years, honestly. And I've actually had to purchase a couple of these because I keep freaking losing them. Like literally I went to the lake last weekend and I was in a tube and I was trying to check where I could like 
you know, stand, but I went all the way down and it was deep as shit. And I forgot that I had my sunglasses on my bathing suit. So when I came up, I grabbed my hat, but I was like, shoot, my sunglasses fell in the water and it was, it was far gone. So anyways, lucky me, I found another pair somewhere because I swear I buy so many of these because I like always want this specific style. These are the perfect cool girl sunglasses. And I really, really wanted the Ray-Ban version, but my track record is telling me that I really should not get those. They are like $15. Like Ryan was like kind of shocked when he put them on because he was like, wait, these are actually good. He's a sunglass connoisseur, so he knows. But the Ray-Ban version I was talking about, apparently they're like a tad bit larger and I can't find anything on Amazon that's this style that's like a little bit larger. And I love oversized glasses, so I would love to maybe even like try them out in a sunglass hut. I haven't been in one of those in years. Um, but my next favorite, and I think last favorite, because I can't really think of anything else, but next week I'll prepare a little bit more, but I also don't really want to like force something. Like I actually want to tell you guys what I've been like obsessed with this week, you know? Here we have my new little baby Stanley cup. And this isn't the first one I ever got. This like really pretty beige color. It's humongous. And I saw this version and one of my friends stories actually she's an influencer too her name's sophie um and she had one of these not this color but this was like one of the only other colors that they had on their site because they're always sold out but i lucked out because i really like this color and the best part about this is that it has like a sippy cup straw and if this is close like it does not spill this one does so i really really like this one even though it doesn't hold as much water i find that i just need something like portable and something that doesn't spill. And I don't really even drink that much water when I'm out and about anyways. Like maybe I'll drink a lot of water at home, but I can always refill it. So this has been with me by my side every single day since I got it. And this one has become Ryan's. So you're welcome, Ryan. I'm about to head out to a shoot. We have to shoot a little bit earlier than like sunset. It's currently five something and I have to be there at six because I'm shooting a family. And I think the kid is like one. Maybe two, I, I can't even remember, I don't know why. I'm so bad at like knowing kids' ages, but I'm pretty sure these are his like one-year-old photos or like for his one-year-old birthday if I remember correctly. But anyway, she wanted to do them earlier, you know, in case he gets fussy later in the night. So we're gonna go shoot at Auditorium Shores and I just have this like white tank that I got from Misguided like so long ago. These gold eye shorts and then my new balances. I love when people come over cause it kind of like makes me clean my whole apartment. And it just feels so good when you know everything is like fresh and clean. The bathrooms are clean and the sheets and the beds are clean. Kitchen's pretty much clean. So I'm a very happy girl. I feel like we are very productive today. So we are gonna celebrate with Mark later after the shoot. I am here. We're at ATX Cocina. 